Rebecca, you're watching Rebecca's channel and welcome back to my Kid and Play series on this channel. If you're new here, my name's Rebecca, I do videos about Kid and Play, I do videos about anime. So if you're new here, you should subscribe to my channel because I post regularly. Also, if you want to follow me on my social media, like my Instagram for example, to see Kid and Play type of images, then you should go and follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave it down below. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about kid and play gear. Do you need gear to be a kitten? Do I have to have gear to be a kitten? My answer to that is no, you don't need it. Gear is just something that a lot of people wear because they like it. They might wear tails, they might wear ears, they might wear collars, they might have leashes, they might have all this type of stuff, but you don't need it. So you have things like tails, you have ears, loads of ears, collars, loads of different types of collars, some bedroom collars only, some everyday collars, normal collars, metal collars, and you also have leashes as well. But do you need it though? Do you have to have it? No. And I'm going to explain. I have gear personally because it makes me feel more connected to my kid inside. I like to wear ears because it makes me feel more confident and makes me feel more happy with myself. I love wearing cute outfits or I love going out in my ears because it makes me feel more comfortable with myself. If I see a shadow and I see my ears in the shadow, it makes me just so happy to see just the ears and just makes me feel like myself. A lot of people feel like they need ears to be in kid and play because they see a lot of people online having ears and thinking well if they have it that means I must have it right? The answer is no y you, you don't need it. If you can't afford it then hey it's fine you know wait until you can afford it because gear is expensive sometimes especially for ears you can pay around 50 to 100 pounds for ears like it's it's not cheap as well. A lot of other reasons why awful people wear gear is again makes them feel like they're said kitten or said animal. It can also be used for kitten space. I'm not gonna go into what kitten space is here in this video because I'm gonna do a video on that another time so we're gonna leave that out the side for now but gear also helps the partner master dom to see you as said animal sometimes they may not see you as the animal without gear they may need the gear to see you as a kitten they may need that some people don't but it just depends on everybody and also if you're gonna buy gear make sure you want to buy the gear don't buy the gear for someone else and be like you have to have it don't let anyone pressure you to buy gear it's totally up to you like i bought gear after coming out of a really bad relationship because i wasn't allowed to be in kitten like doing kitten play and all this type of stuff and then I bought gear and I was like hell yeah I'm myself I'm living my life it just makes me more confident when I have the gear on when I have my collar when I have my tail and it also makes me just feel more cute as well because gear is cute it may also be used kink and stuff but it actually is cute a lot of time you may see cat girls on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter. They may not be into kitten play. They may wear it just for Nekopara or cosplay or just cute kawaii fashion. It doesn't all have to be with that. And also, you don't have to get expensive gear. This ears that I'm wearing are by an amazing artist on Instagram called Katsu Cub with my amazing tail right here. It wasn't cheap either. You do get people that do make cheaper ears, but a lot of the ones that you see a lot of kittens wear are like a lot of the higher artists. But you can just get normal, just metal ears as well. But if you are interested in getting a good pair of ears from an artist, just save up and then when they come up for a release and you like it, then go for it and be yourself. Whenever I see people that are wanting gear or getting into gear, I just say be yourself. Get the gear that you want. It's your choice. Don't let anyone push you into buying gear for them. Make sure it's you that want to buy the gear. So that was my thoughts on gear. I think everybody should get gear if they want gear. Gear is just another fun little thing to add into the kink. It's just cute. It's just kawaii. It's just so soft and personally I love it and I think people should be allowed to wear it but you don't need to have gear to make 
you a kid. You are a kid in yourself. You don't need the gear to show that. If you have any questions that you would like to ask me personally and think I'm not really one to ask you here on YouTube, then you can ask me on my Instagram and we can have a whole conversation about that. I'll put it down below and I'll also put it at the end of this video. If you have a question or you want me to do a video on a certain question topic for Kid and Play, then make sure you leave it in the comments down below because I'd love to hear and also let me know what other people's opinion is on people wearing gear. Do they have to? Do you think they should? Let me know in the comments down below. And hope you like this video. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. And remember guys, don't be scared to be different. Bye bye. Meow meow.